Kennedy, is your work finished yet? Lucia and I are hungry and waiting for you. Ugh, Kennedy, don't ignore me. How dare you ignore my message? Huh? I'm sorry? I've got to work late today and won't be home for a while. Could you please have dinner with Lucia without me? Excuse me? What did you just say? Who do you think you are? Who do you think allows you to stay in this house? Um, what do you mean by who allows? It's all because of me. I accept you as a daughter, even though we're not blood related. Um, what do you mean by that? I'm letting you stay here. So you should at least prepare dinner for your mother and sister. Finish your work right now and make dinner for us. But I work full time. But I have a full time job. I contribute money to the family every month. So what? You've been a housewife and stayed at home all the time. And Lucia has been doing part-time jobs after graduating from college, right? What does that have to do with anything? I just thought that since both of you are at more free time than me, maybe you could prepare meals, you know? Don't act so high and mighty just because you contribute a mere $1,800. A mere $1,800? That's exactly right. I actually want you to contribute more, but I've kept it at $1,800 because I pity you. I think... $1,800 is quite a lot, though. It's not nearly enough. We're living from paycheck to paycheck every month. Really? Then how about asking Lucia to work more? Excuse me? Lucia only works two or three days a week for a short time. Maybe she could get more part-time jobs, then Lucia can contribute money, too. I think that's a good idea. Seriously? Why are you so selfish? I don't remember raising you like that. Uh, what do you mean? Lucia can't work long hours because she's physically weak. You, on the other hand, have always been healthy and rarely catch a cold. You could work 24 hours a day without any problem. I'm not a robot, Mom. You're tougher than a robot because you don't break no matter what I do. That's a horrible thing to say. I'm saying don't complain and keep earning money. Hey, listen, Lucia goes out with friends almost every night. Sometimes she doesn't come back until morning, right? I don't know about her health situation before, but at least now, I don't think she's physically weak, you know? What? Are you saying Lucia shouldn't go out with friends? I'm not saying that, you idiot. Lucia is so pretty and sociable, so she has a busy social life. On the other hand, you're ugly and introverted nerd. You don't have any friends to go out with, right? <laughs> what? You shouldn't mock me like that, Mom. Since you don't hang out with friends, I'm suggesting that you should put in more money into the house. I won't allow you to be selfish. Is this considered selfish? What else would you call it? Here you go again. You always change the subject like that. But let me say, at this point, I can't keep contributing $1,800 like this forever. What? Seriously? After everything I've done for you, how can you talk to me like that? When I was in elementary school... My biological dad married you. You accepted me as your daughter. Even though we're not blood-related, I'm still grateful for that. For 13 years since graduating from college, I've been putting $1,800 into the house every month as you wanted. But since dad passed away in an accident, you only cared about your biological daughter, Lucia. You never treated me like family. All the household chores fall on me while you and Lucia have fun outside. When you say race you, it just feels like you're trying to score points. Honestly, I don't have any memories of being raised by you. I can't believe how disrespectful you were when your dad passed away. I could have kicked you out of the house at that time. But since you were still in high school, I reluctantly let you stay. It only makes sense that you contribute to the household chores for me and Lucia. I think I've done enough for you. But I want to start thinking about my own future. I want you to think about taking care of things by yourself instead of depending on me all the time. What did you say? Are you saying you don't want to contribute money for us? I didn't say I didn't want to. I just want you to stop relying solely on my money. Lucia is already 25 years old, so I think it's time for her to become independent for her own sake. Listen, Kennedy, I'm your mother who raised a failure like you without giving up on you. Now, I'm letting you repay that favor. If you have time to complain, shut up and put some money in my account to show your gratitude. Are you serious? So, you're just going to let Lucia like this? 
What do you mean like this? Hanging out with friends is also a great social study. You're spoiling her too much. Shut up. You're just jealous of Lucia, aren't you? Why should I be jealous of her? Lucia is so adorable and everybody loves her. But you're so cocky. Nobody likes you. Well, you should learn a bit from Lucia. I don't want you to think I'm adorable when I'm over 30. See, you're being cocky again. That's it. You should put more money in this month. What? What is this all of a sudden? Tomorrow's payday, isn't it? Stop by the ATM on your way back from work. Withdraw $2,500 and bring it to me. $2,500? Not $1,800? What are you surprised about? Prices are getting higher these days. $2,500 is a small price to pay. No, I can't afford $2,500, Mom. You're a full-time employee. You should have that much to spare, right? Even $1,800 is tight for me. And of course, $2,500 is impossible. Shut up. I don't want to hear any words from you. And don't talk back to me, Kennedy. Instead, come back home now and prepare dinner. I told you, I'm still at work. You two are already at home, so just prepare dinner yourselves. I don't want to hear any excuses. If you truly understand your position, listen to what I say obediently. See you later, Kennedy. Wait, Mom! I won't be home until 9 p.m. Kennedy, you came back home so late yesterday that we had no choice but to eat canned food for dinner. Do you have any idea how disgusting and unhealthy that is? But I messaged you, didn't I? I clearly told you that I can't come home until 9 p.m. because of the overtime work that I had to do. Why do you have to work so late anyway? Are you not very good at what you do, huh? Are you struggling to keep up with your tasks? What? No, it's not like that at all. It's because it's a very busy season at work and everyone has to stay late to finish the projects. Oh, really? Is that so? Or maybe you were just pretending to work late and actually hanging out somewhere else with your friends or some girl. If you don't believe me, you can confirm with my colleagues. They will tell you the same thing. If you knew you'd be late, you should have brought some food on your way home. Honestly, you're so useless and irresponsible. You made my precious daughter Lucia eat canned foods. How could you do that to her? If she gets sick, are you going to take responsibility for her health? If you don't like canned foods, you should cook something yourselves. You're not helpless, are you? Shut up, young girl. Don't talk back to me. Come home early this time and prepare for dinner for us. And today is your payday, so give me $2,500. Huh? That's impossible, Mom. I have my own expenses, too. I can't give you that much money. Stop lying. You don't even go outside except for work. You've no social life, no hobbies, no interests. What on earth do you spend money on? I have my own personal life, too. You don't know everything about me. But you're single and living with us. You've no one else in your life. You should be grateful that we let you stay here. Starting this month, make sure to contribute $2,500. If you can't do that, I have my own ideas. Why do you keep trying to force your decisions on me? I have my own life, so I'm not giving you any more money. You cannot control me like that, Mom. That's enough. I'm sure your dad in heaven is disappointed in you. He must be thinking about how ungrateful and selfish you are. I don't think so. On the other hand, I'm sure dad is thinking about how arrogant and greedy you are. Shut up! As long as you're in this house, you have to obey what I say. Stop talking back to me. When you come home today, make sure you give me $2,500. Got it? Or else, you'll regret it. Kennedy, where are you now? Kennedy, answer me right now. Good morning. Mom? What happened? Don't you dare say good morning to me. When I woke up, you weren't there. And neither Lucia nor I had breakfast yet. How could you leave us like that? Today is Saturday and I have a day off from work, so I've been out all morning enjoying myself. What? How dare you go out without saying a word to your mother? Do you have any respect for me at all? Both you and Lucia were asleep. I thought it'll be rude to wake you up. What about our breakfast? Don't you care about our hunger? I'm sure there's plenty of food in the fridge. So why don't you just to eat whatever you want? 
it's not that hard. Oh, stop disrespecting me. You're so rude and ungrateful. What? You skipped out on making us food. And on top of that, you broke your promise. You lied to me. Promise? What promise? Don't play dumb with me, Kennedy. When I looked at the envelope you handed me yesterday, there was only $1,800 inside. I told you to give me $2,500. That was the deal. You know what? I don't recall agreeing to $2,500 per month, so please give me a break. That's too much. Shut up. I'm the one who needs a break here. You're the one who broke the promise. You betrayed me. I told you. I didn't agree to it, Mom. You can't force me to do something I don't want to do. I've already thought about the penalty if you don't give $2,500. Huh? Penalty? What are you talking about? I've already made the arrangements, so it's too late to regret now. You'll see what I mean soon enough. I don't understand what you're talking about. But $1,800 is still a lot. And I won't give more than even if you beg for it. Kennedy, get out of my house. Now. I don't want you to appear in my house one more time. If you don't obey my words, I'll make you regret it. What? What are you talking about? It's the penalty for not putting in the money properly. It was decided that the family meeting to kick you out. Family meeting? You mean a meeting with Lucia? I don't think I was invited to the family meeting. Of course you weren't. It wouldn't make sense to decide your fate if you were there in the first place. You're not family anymore. I'm not family, huh? That's right, you idiot. You're just an outsider after all. But I'm kind enough to give you a chance. What do you mean a chance? If you want to stay in the house, give me $4,000 every month. Hold on a second. You said $2,500 the other day and now it's suddenly $4,000? That's a huge increase. It's your fault for breaking the promise. I don't remember making such a promise. Why do you need $4,000 in the first place? The more money, the better, obviously. <laughs> what are you going to spend it on? That doesn't matter at all. It has nothing to do with you as an outsider. I see. You're planning to use it for Lucia's allowance anyway, right? If you agree to give us $4,000 per month, I'll let you stay and we can continue being a family. If you don't want to be alone, you have to do as I say, okay? But $4,000 is just too much. If you can't afford it with your salary alone, get a part-time job or something and earn $4,000. Without your dad, you'll end up alone for life if I abandon you. I'll give you five days to think it over. Or else you'll be out on the streets. Hey, why do you not answer my message? Where do you get the audacity to ignore me? Huh? Kennedy, it seems like you are going out again on Sunday. Lately, you've been frequently leaving the house, huh? Oh, hey, did you just wake up by any chance? I prepared breakfast properly today before leaving. Have it with Lucia. Instead of that, you didn't end up giving us the $4,000, huh? Normally, I'd say get out of the house by now, but I've decided to show mercy and wait for an additional two days. So, if you want to continue living in this house... Oh, about that, huh? Now what? Did you finally agree to the monthly $4,000? That's good. <laughs> it must be lonely to live apart from us, right? You have no choice but to agree. If I don't agree, I have to move out, right? Um, yeah. Do I need to say about the punishment again? Well, I won't go easy on you either. What do you mean? I know you are paying $4,000 because you don't want to leave home, right? Well, no, I won't pay. What? Hmm, you don't understand English. Okay, let me repeat it one more time. I will not pay $4,000. Huh? Are you serious, you young lady? You don't care if you get kicked out? Really? Before I get kicked out, I'm moving out. <laughs> what? Do you lose your mind? Are you okay with being all alone? I've been wanting to leave this house for a long time, but with work and chores keeping me busy, I couldn't find the right time to leave. I ended up continuing to live here, even though I'm not a working adult. But thanks to your stupid request, it became a good opportunity for me to move out. <laughs> Hold on a second. 
Kennedy, are you serious? Yes, of course. I'm serious. A hundred percent. Are you okay with losing your family? Family? Whose family? Your family! You have your mother and your sister, right? What? You said I'm an outsider, right? You might not have noticed, but I've been moving my stuff out little by little. I'm ready to move into my new house today. I won't be going back to your house today. Thank you for taking care of me for a long time. Now, you can live happily with Lucia. But... What? What about the money? Money? What money? What are you babbling about? You were putting in $1,800 every month, right? Even if you leave the house, you'll still put in money every month, right? <laughs> There's no way I'll do that. Excuse me? What did you say? Why would I put in money into a house I don't live in, right? But there's nothing wrong with sending money to your mother. You're not my mother, so I don't need to send money to you. I raised you all this time. As I've said before, I don't remember being raised by you. I've been covering my living expenses and tuition with debt's inheritance and my part-time job. I don't owe you anything. But you will forever be alone. You're fine with that? If you don't bring money into the house, we'll cut ties with you. Oh, is that so? Ray, go ahead. I mean, I won't be alone. What? Well, I'm getting married. Married? Are you kidding? I've been dating my colleague for several years. He proposed to me six months ago, so we plan to live together in our new home. What? I haven't heard anything about that. Yeah, of course. I didn't tell you. Why didn't you tell me such an important thing? Because we're not family, that's why. Well... I have to start organizing the new home now. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, Kennedy. Hey, I'll be in trouble if I don't get your financial support. Kennedy, you're so ugly, but you're getting married before Lucia and getting married without telling me how disrespectful you are. That's it. I'm really going to cut off ties with you. I'm sure you will have to turn back and beg me to forgive you. Let's see, you good for nothing. Kennedy, for the love of God, answer the phone, please. What's the matter, Mom? Oh, wait. You're not my mom anymore, are you? <laughs> Save your sarcasm for later. I don't have time for that now. Listen, I have a huge favor to ask you. I thought you said you never wanted to talk to me again. What do you want from me now? Actually, I need your help. Huh? What kind of help? Well, I'm about to lose my house. What? Really? You can't pay your rent? Yeah, I don't have any money to pay the landlord. I'm in a desperate situation. So please help me. <laughs> what on earth are you saying? Well then, I suppose you'll have to pack your bags and leave the house. Are you serious, Kennedy? How can you be so heartless? You should pay. What? Why should I pay? Don't be ridiculous. Because you don't support us financially. I can't afford the rent anymore. What? No, that's not my problem. I don't live there anymore. Don't be so cold. Please help us, Kennedy. We're really in trouble. Well, don't tell me you still haven't found a job. I tried, but it was hopeless. Lucia tried to get a full-time job too, but she was rejected everywhere, so she had to settle for a part-time job. I've never worked in my life. I was always a housewife. I couldn't even get a part-time job. Please, Kennedy, just give me $1,800 like you used to. Or maybe $1,500? Will you please send some money to our house? You used to demand $4,000 from me, but now you're lowering your price. How generous of you. You'll give me $1,500, right? No way. You and Lucia took advantage of me and wasted my money for your own selfish needs. You should learn how hard it is to earn money. Shut up. You should repay me for the favor I've done by raising you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'll treat you as a family again. Just tell me where your new house is. Dream on. I'm not telling you. Huh? Why not? Because if I tell you, you'll barge in, right? No, I wouldn't do that. Well, I have a lot of things to do, so I have to hang up. Wait, we have nowhere to go. We only have $50 left. Well, is this related to me? I don't care. 
Please, Kennedy, I'm begging you. I'm not your daughter, so don't hope that I will help you. Anyways, goodbye, ex-mom. Kennedy, I'm sorry for what I've done. Don't leave us alone. Kennedy! After two months of struggling to pay the bills, the two finally faced the consequences of their irresponsible spending habits. They were kicked out of the house by the landlord, who had no sympathy for their situation. With nowhere else to go, they ended up in a homeless shelter, where they had to share a room with strangers and follow strict rules. They also had to look for any kind of work they could find, from cleaning toilets to flipping burgers. Lucia, who used to waste my hard-earned money on expensive makeup and clothes, was now whining about how she had to wear the same outfit every day and how her skin was breaking out. She hoped that her mother would take pity on her and let her move back in, but she was in a rude awakening. Her mother, who had always spoiled her, finally realized how ungrateful and selfish she was. She gave her a harsh lecture and told her to grow up and face the reality of life. She also refused to give her any money or help, saying that she had to learn from her mistakes. Lucia was shocked and angry, but she had no choice but to accept her faith and get a regular job at a supermarket. As for me, I'm happily living in the new home with my husband. They are still trying to find out where I live, but of course, I have no intention of telling them. And just to be sure, I moved to a fully secure apartment so I don't have to worry about the possibility of them barging in, as I have not been blessed with a family in the past. I'm looking forward to building a loving family with my husband.